Uh, so, oh, then okay. friends... Okay, we got something else new here. Well, the, well, I looked all over your thing and you... Yeah, no, I haven't done this one. This one, and a friends came this weekend and stayed with me. And one of my good friends, she goes, uh, you know, my favorite song, this train leaves here this morning, and I listened to it, and I went, oh my god, I've loved that song for years. Mm. And so then I I looked all through your stuff, yeah, couldn't good. find it, and then I thought, well, okay. I, I looked on the internet, and then I thought, really, it's obviously probably pretty simple uh, to play, maybe. And I tried listening to it to see if I could figure out some of the stuff they were doing. But mostly what I wanted was what you've helped me with on a lot of my songs is play it individually and then have it a little instrumental somewhere in there, mm -hmm. you know, that helps it get a little more colorful, you know. And so I have a lot of songs that you've taught me to do that with, and that's, you know, how I dress them up a little bit when they're not as hard. But um, they do have a really nice instrumental in there. Uh, it's a longer than probably I would want to play. Yeah. See what you think. Above or below? How far? It, it, well, I, I guess I'm trying to say it's a seventh, but it's below. Right. It's a lot closer below. Yeah. How far below? Well, isn't it normally would be D sharp? If we were in the key of E, we'd be talking. We're not talking about even the key of E. e. I'm okay. just saying we see E and so we play D. So it's a whole D. step. A whole step in what direction? Uh, uh, lower. Right. So we just have to play everything on this page a whole step lower. lower. We don't have to think anything about the key. Oh, okay. Okay? Oh, okay. Be okay, so what are you going to play here? Uh, oh, C. Sure. Where and it says then, B7? Uh, A. Okay, A7. A7. Right, okay. So there oh. are a couple of different ways of transposing. Oh. So let me, yeah, this is a... Um, uh, That's one way like is, yeah. right, okay, so one way is to figure out what all the numbers are in the key right. and then apply those numbers to the new key. Right. That comes in, that's a really good approach when the keys are far away. Like if you're right. going from G to C, okay, which would be like going up a fourth or G to D when you're going a long way, okay? But, and, but even if we were in G and we might see a chord that's not in G. Right. That means whatever new key we're going to, we're going to have something altered game. there too. We got to, right. you know, we have to figure out that like if they were in G and they went to C, we could just, we would know that just C, I mean, if it went to chord, a C chord in the key of G, right. we would know that it was, we could just think of it, oh, it just went to chord four. Right. Okay. But it could have gone to C minor. Right. Which you would say, oh, that's not in the key. Oh, but we still are going to go the same distance. Right. And just play a minor chord. Right. So we just go to note four and play minor there instead. Right. Got so it. we alter the chord to match, but it could even go to a note, it could be in the key of G and it goes to an F chord. And that's not even chord seven. That's not even a note in the key of G. Right. So then you think, oh, I have to go to a chord a whole step lower right. and a major chord. Right. Right? And that's that's also not going to be in the new key that we're in. The key we're changing to is going to have a chord that's a whole step lower than one. Right. Uh, okay? Okay, now, a, a, a different angle on that whole thing is there could be a song that used seven chords and only three of them are in one key, and he's used a whole bunch of chords outside the key. Every one of those is going to be a little bit of a headache to figure out what they are, how they're altered within the key. Right. But if you're just changing them all a certain distance, it could just be you're changing them all a half step or a whole step. Right. Or you're going up a half step. So or you don't a whole have step. to worry about how the you don't end, even think about what key you're in or out of the key. Right. So you look at this and you see E, and it says, says E. I'm just going to play a whole step lower. I want to play D. Right. I look at this, I see D. I just play a whole step lower. Right. Because if we are in the key of E, right. this chord's not in the key anyway. So, yeah, it's not so going to line up anyway. Right. Okay? Yeah. So, but this is more, um, again, more useful when you're not going far. Yeah. Okay? Right, because um, then you can think. Right. But you just have to just remember that I'm not worried about what key I'm in. I'm just changing everything the exact same distance. Right. Okay?